okay we will uh, start from here uh, so we have discussed how we can construct the matrix correspond to this uh, time and velocity for the case of uh, uh, bilinear interpolation now we will uh, discuss how we can calculate the coefficients so in order to calculate the coefficient we have to solve these two matrices by using this uh, time and velocity matrices so that we have to type uh, np dot linear algebra this expression uh, np dot linear algebra dot solve t lin comma v lin it is nothing but uh, it will give you that coefficient matrix okay so that coefficient matrix uh, suppose if you are having uh, your uh, line which is a0 a0 plus uh, a1x instead of x we will be having t so if you are having a, a line like this uh, as your inter uh, interpolation uh, with linear interpolation so this is representing suppose this is representing your line which is connecting the y values uh, in between uh, this uh, 15 and 20 then suppose uh, if you solve by using this expression then we will be able to get what is a0 and what is a1 ok. So, once you know that coefficients a0 and a1 uh, that this this coefficient will be stored in your uh, a lin uh, in this uh, variable and this uh, a lin once you know a0 and a1 this will be this we have to use for uh, finding uh, any other y value corresponding to different x values. So, in this particular case we have to find out what is the y value or the velocity at time t equal to 16. So, we have to use both this a 0 and a 1 and uh, we have to multiply that with the second that is a 1 with 16 and a 0 with 1. Okay. Then we will get corresponding uh, velocity at time equal to 16. So, what we have to do? We have to put uh, time equal to 16 okay time equal to 16 and uh, this uh, a 0 and the a 0 should be the so in order to keep a 0 we have to uh, multiply this with 1 okay so that is what we are doing in the next step we have uh, taken the variable uh, t 16 lin equal to 1 comma 16 okay now this uh, if you take the dot product of those two uh, with a lin and uh, t 16 lin then we will be getting uh, like expression uh, like uh, a, a 1 times a 0 uh, plus a 1 times uh, that is uh, 16 ok what is uh, I have given 16 so this times 16. So, this this will be what is this value we have to calculate ok this value will be uh, again stored in uh, which expression that is uh, v 16 lin ok this will be stored in v 16 uh, v 16 lin. So, that is uh, what is uh, this expression ok. So, basically we will take uh, the dot product and we will have this expression and that value will be stored in v 16 lin uh, that is what uh, this expression is. Uh, what that means uh, from this curve let us say from this curve how we can see that suppose uh, we want uh, we actually want the point at t equal to 16 suppose we are taking uh, these two values for uh, this uh, linear interpolation and uh, and we will get a line which is connecting these two line these two points and t at uh, 16 will be here the point at this ok. So, once you know what is the a 0 and a 1 which representing uh, this particular line this particular line suppose a 0 uh, plus a 1 t representing this particular line then you can give any t value and you can find out what is the uh, the value at a different time ok. So, if you know that a 0 and a 1. So, that is what we are doing here. So, we calculated what is the velocity at uh, 16 that what uh, 
uh, we do uh, in in that uh, in this instruction and then after that we are uh, taking it into a uh, maximum of thread uh, three decimal and uh, then we will take uh, the plot we will plot this that extra point that is at t equal to 16 uh, as a scatter plot with the, the dot having size of 50 and color uh, as you can see this uh, here uh, uh, the red color is 0 ok r is 0 then all two other colors are present so it will be some different color ok so this is the basic idea behind this uh, uh, this linear interpolation that we discuss now suppose if you use some uh, uh, cubic or quadratic interpolation let us say this is the uh, this is corresponding to the cubic interpolation uh, technique uh, so we have to construct uh, the matrix like uh, like this so here what we are constructing we are constructing the matrix like this so here we have uh, t cube okay so instead of uh, up to t we have t cube if you are having quadratic then in, in it will be t square so, we are constructing the first matrix as 1, t, t square and t cube. Okay. Then we have 1, t, uh, when t, so suppose this is t1, t1, t1 and t2, t2 square and t2 cube. Okay. Then we have 1, t3, t3 uh, square and t3 to the power cube then again 1 t4 uh, t4 square t4 cube so so the matrix will be like this so uh, here we have to consider uh, the coefficient in a reverse order because we have taken 1 t1 t1 square t1 cube uh, like this so the coefficient will be in reverse order uh, just for uh, just it is just uh, for clarification, so the it should be one d plus uh, c t one plus b t one square plus a t one cube, like that. Or you can take uh, a b c d also, no problem. But in that case, your a will be your constant for the first uh, uh, cubic spline. Okay. Uh, that uh, in that case, uh, we have uh, some different kind of uh, interpolation we will get. So, why we take uh, this T4 and up to T4? Because we are taking the here we are considering cubic uh, spline, so cubic uh, interpolation, and it is not spline. So, we are considering cubic uh, polynomial interpolation. So, for cubic case, we have to we need at least 4 points. So, for 4 points, we have taken T1, T2, T3, and T4. Okay. Now, how it will be looking like here? If you are considering the cubic case. Uh, it will not be like this ok. So, now what we are taking we are taking 4 points. So, we have to consider this point and this point also. So, additionally we have to consider 2 more points and if you draw this uh, this by using uh, your uh, uh, what is this uh, cubic then it will be like this. So, in this case it will, it will be almost same, but there will be some small change. So, and if you are after calculating if you take what is the value of uh, uh, value at 16 t equal to 16 there will be a small change uh, in this case when you are having a uh, cubic interpolation. So, this is for uh, the case of uh, when you are having data which is like this, but normally if you are having different uh, kind of data then the the, vari the variation will be larger. Okay. So, that is the that is what we are doing here we have to consider uh, this matrix so then v your v matrix is this ok and this is your coefficient matrix then basically we have to calculate uh, a cubic a cubic is nothing but uh, the same steps we are following here we have to solve for these uh, matrix coefficients and then we have to multiply it with uh, uh, the same time time we are taking 1 16 16 square and 16 cube that we have to multiply and we have to plot. So, that is the same